Well, this is going to be a big, big, big bout at heavyweight. Eris Landi Savon he struggled a bit in his last outing, despite claiming his second WSB win. However, he's one of the most talented heavyweights in the world at the moment. Savon needs to work hard and allow his skill to show through. And there have been times when he hasn't done that in this season of WSB. A lot of skill. He had a first round flash TKO of the Korean fighter Junior Hill in the Aiba World Boxing Championships in Almaty in 2013. And I say flash because it happened in less than 30 seconds of boxing. So from Cuba with a WSB record of 2 and 0. One win on points, one TKO. Currently ranked at number one. He is Eris Landi Savon. But this is the man that the fans here want to see. It's the third time tonight that the pressure has been on in this extreme way for the Aziri team to stay in the competition. There's the numbers up for Eris Landi Savon. And, uh, you can see that uh, it's an impressive, impressive curriculum of VTEC. But Danis Latipov, WSB record 1 and 0, currently ranked 4, 194 centimeters, 23 years of age. He had a KO win in his first outing. That was in week three against Matus Maluda of Poland. Maluda, big, big, big fighter. But uh, taken out almost without effort by Danis Latipov. Referee from Poland, Marius Gorni. There's our judges, Nancy Di Castro, Andrew Caulfield, Hassan Zubid, Anatoly Kaigorodov, and Fatih Maduf Madfua. So the final bout tonight to decide this competition's winner. The Baku Fires from Azerbaijan. The Domodoras from Cuba. For Cuba, Eris Landi Savon. For Azerbaijan, Danis Latipov. This five, three minute round bout contested in the heavyweight category and it falls in the C1 weight category for WSB both fighters at Southport both fighters very tall indeed 192 centimeters plays 190 four centimeters latipov having the two centimeter advantage they're big hitters these boys and you just get the feeling we could be in for an early shower here tonight it's all to play for there's two bouts apiece cuba of one two azerbaijan of one two this fifth bout will decide who will win the competition and if indeed it is possible to beat the Cuban team, who are unbeaten coming into this tournament, having lost only two bouts. Just look at Latipov, purposeful, skillful. He's going to really have to dig deep. A lot of hopes riding on his shoulders. 
Well, that said, Ernest Landy Savon fighting South Paul, but switch hitting. Fighting Orthodox, I should say, but switch hitting. Natural South Paul boxer Latipov. Tight little left hook combination there. Latipov taking shots on the way in, needs to have a care. Dennis Landy Savon trying to keep this at range. Just over a minute left in round one. If Latipov can do this, this will be a huge upset in WSB. Crowds behind him, but almost frightened to dare. Frightened to wish. But Latipov, with all the coolness and calmness you'd expect, comes to this to do business. Eris Landy Savon still trying to get the measure. That left hook could cause damage if he can land it. And Savon knows. And that's why the hug. And he's not letting go until he's sure that that left hook has been put away. And Latipov lands the shot. Hurt Savon. At the end of that round, I think it was a good round for the Cuban. He got his shots off at distance and range. Although Latipov brought the action, he had to take shots going in. So the tail of the tape tells us nothing, except that the judges find in favour of Latipov. 10-9 across the board, judge A, B and C. So Latipov goes ahead. Oh, and my goodness, this will be the upset of the season. They looked unbeatable. They looked untouchable. The Cubans. But the Aziri Baku fires, as I said at the beginning, brought out a star-studded lineup, not least of which the glitter of this man could prove critical, Danis Latipov. So we go to round two, Latipov brings the action and uh, he's got the slight height advantage of two centimetres, 194 plays 192, Eris Landy Savon, the more upright fighter of the two and that's where the skill of Latipov lies. He's such a big man, he's the taller man here, and he's able to come in under the guard of Savon. And he throws that left hook like a coiled spring. And that left hook actually almost Tyson-like when he gets in on the inside. It just swings round so tightly like a steel trap. And uh, Savon knows, and he's on his toes. And that uh, duck down and turn that the Cubans do so well. Drawing Latipov into the ropes and then trying to turn his man. Still working off the front foot, Savon. Although moving very well. Savon. Throwing out the strikes at range. Working off his jab. Introduces the left hook. Good combination. Slightly better round for Savon. Latipov has eased off. Gets caught on the way in. Big left hand goes over. Well, Savon working very well at range here.
much quieter round for both men. Picking him off, working so well. This is the kind of action you don't want to allow to happen from a Cuban fighter. So just happy to work at distance. Not bringing any aggression to this. There is Landy Savant. But the uh, Cuban trickery at play. So at the end of the round, I think uh, Latipov has allowed the Cuban back into this. So taking shots on the way in. Savon knowing where the strength of his tactics lie. That's working at range. And he's done that beautifully here in this second round. Keeping Latipov just on the end of that jab. And then working a couple of shots in the combination department when the opportunity presents. Let's see how the judges scored that. Yeah, strong round for Eris Landy Savon and one apiece as the judges score it. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. Uh, my bad, 10-8. Judge C, so a poor round for Latipov as far as the... Third judge was concerned. Just did everything to play for going into round three. Well, the competition resting on Danis Latipov. But even if it doesn't go the way of the Aziris, they'll have been the closest team in this competition to threaten the Cubans thus far oh my goodness well no count and Latipov saw the opportunity on the ropes to pile pressure on Eris Landy Savon though forced through them Latipov needs to work and they said that about Savon that he got a little bit restful in the rounds and if the pressure can keep coming from Latipov, he'll sneak these rounds. Oh, he gets tagged. Good work from Savon. Savon gets tagged. And uh, the pace slowed down. As you'd expect, they couldn't keep that rate up from the first. But Latipov needs to be scoring, and to do that, he needs to be on the inside, because at range, Savon just popping him off. Savon just happy to stand off, work off that jab. Latipov getting tagged. And this is not good going into the last minute. Latipov needs something momentous, really, going towards the end of this round. He's having his head rocked back. Always on the move, Savon. Great combination, left, right, and then another left. And Savon now starting to get his hands firmly on the steering wheel here. And the Latipov shock and awe tactic we saw in the first round not paying him dividends now Latipov almost got two speeds here slow and stop and at the end of the third I think that's another strong round in favor of the Cuban
from the replay. Just the cool, calm, collected. Eris Landy Savon popping in shots on the counter and uh, racking them up. Let's see how the judges found it. Yep, again in favour of Eris Landy Savon. And that's widening the gap. Danis Latipov has got to win the next two rounds straight. And that's a prospect. That's uh, tough. Tougher than a rhino in riot gear. So this is a crucial round for Danis Latipov. Has he got an answer for Eris Landy Savon? Savon so casual, so relaxed. I'm just happy to work off those shots at range. Oh, Latipov draws him, tries to put that left hook into play. Latipov, as I said, had a KO win against Matus Maluda of Poland. Maluda fell foul of those crisp, tight left hooks that Latipov has at his disposal, but he's got to get in close to work them, and he's not doing it. Savov, the king of cool. Just look at him operate when he's got the room to do it. All these Cuban fighters. You let them out the bag and you're unleashing all kinds of problems. Latipov needs to close him in. We're over halfway through this round, and it's not looking a strong round for Latipov. I said earlier, two speeds, slow and stop. He's bringing the action forward, but it's not enough. Savon gets tagged. Referee warning about the head going in. Well, all a little bit too relaxed, given what's at stake here. And uh, I think Denis Latipov has been drawn into this. Slow as molasses type approach. And uh, the impetus has gone. It's almost as if Latipov does not have a strategy or an answer for Eris Landy Savon. And I think a point deducted there for using the head from referee Marius Grozny of Poland. So at the end of round four, this is almost slipping away and you can see it. The work should have been put in by Latipov. In the end, he was on the receiving end. And that left hand rocked the world of uh, Eris Landy Savon just ever so slightly. But it was one good one amongst five of the Cubans. Warning one, there you go, and they find in favor of Eris Landy Savon. It's gone, it slipped away like sand in the palm of your hand. The Baku fires needed that round to stay in the competition. It's two apiece. It was all resting on Danis Latipov.
They go into the fifth and final round. Unless Latipov can pull a stoppage rabbit out of a hat. Eris Landy Savon has picked Latipov's pocket here and really outplayed him. And again, the Cuban goes for walkabout. And this is where the flair and the skill come now. The confidence. Latipov searching for an answer. Savon searched. He hadn't quite got the math right. And these Cuban boxers, you give them half an inch to operate, and it's half an inch too much. Eris Landy Savon in that fourth round almost suckered Latipov into that slow molasses walkabout type of bout. Just look, whenever the opportunity presents, Eris Landy Savon puts in the effort, throws in the combinations, electrifying speed, and does the job. Latipov, well, has spent five rounds walking around the ring, chasing a man who hits but cannot be hit. And in a boxing match, that will lead to only one thing. And Latipov paying the price here now as he's picked off at will. Savon imposes himself. And really, Latipov knows it's the countdown to what will be a bitter, bitter decision. The chance for the Aziris to be the only team thus far to halt the relentless rampage of the Cuban team throughout this WSB season four. With just over half a minute left. I'm not expecting anything that will change the direction of this fight. And Denis Latipov has given it his all But there was no indication of any urgency from Latipov, certainly not from Savov. Savon wanted to keep this long and drawn out. And at the bell, Savon has done it. So Cuba, march on. And uh, that was a very cerebral approach from Eris Landy Savon. Really brought his head into this. Latipov opened up round one. But uh, going through, Savon had his head right. And I think the tactic was right. Worked off at range and Latipov paid the price. So close, and yet so far. And Denis Latipov will reflect on this, I would venture. There was a lot riding on it. We still need an official verdict. But I think the hand of the Cuban is the one that's going to be raised. And it is. There's the scores. 45-49, 45-49, 44-49 in favour of Eris Landy Savon, the winner on points by three and denying Danis Latipov and the Aziri team of stopping the halt or bringing to a halt the Cuban Domodore. So there you have it. What an incredible lineup. Again, and remind you, the World Series of Boxing can be followed on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr. So, I hope you've enjoyed the proceedings here tonight. I have to say, I half-heartedly wanted an upset here. There's the current standing. 
Azerbaijan Baku fires two, the Cuba Domadores three, and that brings a conclusion to the proceedings. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next time, goodbye.